I wish someone would have explained manifestation to me like this because it can be so simple. So welcome to Manifestation 101, how to manifest your dream life keyword fast. And I'm talking very fast. All you need to know is three simple things to master this process. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of homework of what you can do right now, starting today to make this work for you. All right. So how can you master manifestation? First, you have to understand that you are comprised of your thoughts, your beliefs, and your feelings. When you add up all these bad boys, this creates equals your state of being. A little bonus, I like to call this your identity, who you are as a person. Let's say you constantly have thoughts of self-doubt and stress and you believe that life is difficult and things don't work out for you and that leads to feelings of sadness and sorrow and victimhood. Well, there's a thing called the law of vibration that says everything emits a vibrational frequency, which means this state of being and identity you have emits a specific vibration. That's called the law of vibration. Then by the law of attraction, similar vibrations attract similar vibrations. The law of attraction. You emit a vibrational frequency. This attracts a specific outcome, a result. This could be a person. This could be a financial income. This could be a problem, a situation. This could be anything. But look, you're a happy guy, happy chappy. You have the power to control any of these. And when you change any of these, they'd say, now you're like, I have thoughts that I'm awesome and I love myself. I'm doing the best I can. I believe that life always works out for me no matter what. This leads to feelings of security and happiness and peace. And look, it's not that easy. You don't just change this overnight, but when you make little micro changes across these, it eventually changes your state of being and your total identity. This makes you then emit a very different frequency, which can lead like a star to a much better outcome. Get out of here, little square. And so to manifest your dream life fast, you literally just need to master these steps. Control, watch yourself talk, decide what beliefs govern your life, and actively choose to live in emotions that are positive and empowering. But I get it. You're like, John, that's all nice and fun when you explain it like that. But it is so freaking hard, especially when you get stuck in your head and you just things are just so stressful and there's just problem after problem. I got you. I got you. What can you do to make this work right now for you? It's three simple steps. I'm going to put them in order of least important to the most important, the big bad boy. Number one, affirmations. I want you to get really good at having these go-to phrases that start to influence your thoughts, beliefs, and feelings. The most common ones you've heard of are I am affirmations, like I am worthy, I am fulfilled, I am capable, I am loving, I am love itself. Those are great, start there, but I might, I might help you go one step further on this. All right, you're going to use these three keyword phrases. By the way, these are aligned with different chakra points in your body. That's a story for another time. But I am loving is very different from I feel loved and whole is very different from I understand that I don't need to do anything or achieve anything to be fully loved and lovable or I am wealthy. I feel wealthy. I understand that attracting and building wealth is easy and fun. Start just brainstorming ones that fit your life and where you want to go and what identity you're building and start saying these literally every day. Number two, you're going to journal. And I am talking every day on this bad boy too. This is like tapping into your soul. This is starting to build a little bit of the new identity. This is like letting the old stuff out. I journal every morning and every night. In the morning, I try to set like the focus for the day. And then at the evening, I try to reflect on the day and feel encompassed. I also had a friend who was saying she was journaling every 30 days. This is intense on your biggest trauma or stress in life. What you really want to do is let the junk out. There is so much swirling around up in this happy little brain of yours. And you just need to let give it space. And what I recommend you do here, what I recommend you do here is you're going to journal on 
feelings. How are you feeling day to day? Are you holding on to anything? Was there any unprocessed emotions from the past? Ding, ding, ding. And there are. You need to let go of. And then journal about the future. What is the future life you want to live? The dreams of who you want to become to attract a star outcome. And just have fun with this. This is just open period for you to just do whatever you want. I heard a really cool quote that said, journaling is like whispering to the soul. Ooh, I love that. All right, number three, you're gonna love this. You are gonna meditate. Yes, I know you've tried before. It's so hard, it's so difficult, I get it. Me too. I'm, I literally tried meditating for five years across apps, in-person events, guided ones, unguided. I've tried like literally, I'm not, no joke, 15 different types of meditation. Some are awesome, by the way. The one that finally clicked for me is Dr. Joe Dispenza. Why I really recommend this guy over other meditation practices is he helps you do exactly what you want to do up here. He helps prime your thoughts and beliefs and feelings into what you want to attract, who you want to become, the future that you want to create. I find his meditations are like in two parts. One, he gets you into state, gets you into state, and two, he helps you define and create the new you. Seriously, I, again, I tried meditation for like five years and nothing was clicking. And then I did this, guys, and I was like, whoa, I get it now. Med Quick recap that you are made up of your thoughts, beliefs, feelings. That's your state of being. The law of vibration says you emit a vibration based on this. The law of attraction says you're going to attract whatever you think, believe, and feel. We want to replace those with good things and not negative, stressful things. And you can do that by doing affirmations, journaling, and meditating daily. If you're just starting off, just choose three affirmations. Just choose three affirmations that you can start saying every day. I want you to journal for 15 minutes every day. 